Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kirsty Chai, YouTube channel, Doncaster Bomb, but built for theme park news. And welcome to a theme park news update where today we're going to be taking a look at some official park photos behind the scenes at Tornado Springs. Now, of course, the last update we delivered to you guys was about the postponing of the uh, new area until 2021 due to the current coronavirus outbreak. Uh, but today we're going to share those pictures. And for those of you who are new to the channel, we're going to share with you and recap some of the details about this brand new area, location, rise in attractions, other experiences in the area, and also share you guys about our personal experience on the channel, sort of delivering this news and you know where we've got, where we've come from really, because we started this channel right at the start of this process, and now, you know, now, you know, we're right at this at this part of the process where you know the channel's bigger than it I thought it would be, and the area is of course scheduled for 2021 now so um, you know a lot can happen in about a year but you know it's very I don't know it's very surreal I guess uh, so please like comment subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video please share with your friends your family social media and make sure you keep getting those questions in for the 2000 subscriber Q&A when we hit that milestone it'll be released about a week after we hit that milestone uh, we're on the way so, uh, so far, so far, <laughs> um, yeah, we're, we're getting pretty close so far, um, we're nearly halfway to 1,600 subs, uh, and of course, if you check the community post, and I'll link in the description down below as well, you'll have seen that I am in the free press in my local town, so a massive thank you uh, to Laura Andrew, the writer of this article, uh, for writing such a beautifully written article it's brilliant i recommend you go and read it because it's sort of i i open myself up a little bit more i sort of let people in when i'm when you're reading that um because obviously you guys see the videos and you see how uh confident i am uh but i sort of open up about why i love theme parks so much in that article so i share a bit of personal stuff with you guys so i recommend you go and read that and really you know enjoy it because i enjoyed reading it when it came out so and i enjoyed the interview as well so uh, big shout out to the doncaster free press uh, and for now guys let's get into this video so this is all about tornado springs so this is all about giving newcomers to the channel an idea of what this is what tornado Sp what is tornado springs at Polton's park uh, and while we're doing that, we're going to share with you some pictures, uh, some old concept arts, just to give you a, a trip down memory lane, as well as a showing of the current situation of the area, uh, and some current pictures over the last few days, officially from the park. So big shout out goes to Polton's Park for these, uh, they were from their Instagram story, I believe. Uh, yeah, it was on their Instagram story, it's probably gone now, but... Um, these were sort of screenshotted from them as like back they were usually like background wallpapers but I wanted to use them as shots for the area uh, so let's put them on screen as well as some other images to do with the area as well and for those of you who are newcomers let's tell you about this area so for those of you who need a little bit of history on the area uh, Tornado Springs is a desert town it's like a, a desert wild west town that's sort of recovering after storm mac which is this uh, massive tornado um and it's sort of destroyed the town and it's on the rebuild and the rebuild is tornado springs now this is located east of the car park on the former site of some animal enclosures and more specifically gold rush falls now gold rush falls was the combination a western theme with the combination of a mini golf course and a panning for gold attraction it was all sort of one mini area i guess called gold rush falls and those both of them were removed uh, the panning for gold attraction was actually in the first ever episode of when polton's park used to do the junior reporters for those of you who remember that uh when it started back in 2010 which is a long time ago um and it's sort of weird looking back that they don't really do the junior report stuff now but it's sort of looking back and sort of thinking, oh, remember when that attraction was at the park and stuff like that. Uh, but it was replacing that attraction as well as some animal enclosures. The animals were relocated to new enclosures and the old enclosures were demolished along with Gold Rush Falls. East of the car park, it was a massive patch of green land. Uh, it was a great new area, a great space for a new area. Uh, so for those of you who need uh, an idea of what attractions are in this area, in terms of existing attractions, 
you had the trekking tractors they opened back in 2007 it's a powerful circuit ride manufactured by metal bow emlin uh so you've also got buffalo falls now this was the re-themed waves wave runner that originally opened in 2003 again manufactured by metal bow emlin uh, you also have the Rio Grande train. Now, this manufactured by Seven Lamb, uh, rethemed and remodeled for 2021. Of course, now it's not 2020 anymore, which is weird. It's 2021. Um, and of course, opened first in 1987. So it's an old attraction. It's right at the start of the park's history here. Uh, so, in terms of new attractions, you've got Owls Auto Academy, which is a driving school attraction. Now, this is manufactured or listed as manufactured by Garmendale, the Derby based company. So, I'm very excited to see what they've done with this. Obviously, you guys know that Garmendale is the manufacturer of Alton Towers' brand new dark ride, Gangster Granny the Ride, which is set to open at some point maybe this year, or it'll be 2021, like Tonya Springs at Polton's Park. Uh, so I've got a feeling the 2020 attractions will be 2021 in my opinion or relaunched in 2021 uh, But yeah, very interesting there. Garmendale manufacturing this driving school attraction and in terms of specifics if you want to be really specific this Driving school attraction Al's Auto Academy is actually specifically where Gold Rush Falls was So the whole overall site is replacing the animal enclosures and Gold Rush Falls as well as the Greenland but the actual Gold Rush Falls that's been replaced by the driving school attraction, which is an interesting fact. You also got a Frisbee ride known as the Cyclinator, manufactured by Zamperla. It's a non-inverting Discovery Revolution model. You've got Windmill Towers, so they are family drop towers manufactured by Ziera. So if you want a bit of evidence to what these look like, go and search online for TIKAL. Uh, it's T-I-K-A-L at Fantasialand. Very good example. Um, you've also got Junkyard Junction and Parking Lot Tots, which are playgrounds. So you've got Junkyard Junction, uh, which is a Western-themed outdoor adventure play park featuring climbing frames and slides. And of course, also featuring climbing frames and slides is the garage-themed Parking Lot Tots. And of course, the main attraction in the area is, of course, Storm Chaser. Now, Storm Chaser is a Mack spinning coaster. Uh, it's not the extreme spinning coaster as many of us rumoured back in uh, back in the early days of the rumours, uh, <laughs> but this is actually a clone of Sierra Sidewinder. Now Sierra Sidewinder is at Knott's Berry Farm in the States in California. So if you want to go and look online for Sierra Sidewinder, have a look at that. Uh, and that is also a clone. Uh, well, Sierra Sidewinder and Storm Chase was the same model as. Spider-Man Doc Ox Revenge at IMG Worlds of Adventure in Dubai uh, For those of you who need a third example uh, So in terms of the statistics then this has a height of 65.6 feet It has theming created by Leisure Expert Group BV and MK themed attractions and it's installed by RCS Now RCS for those of you who don't know RCS GmbH uh, located in Lower Saxony, Germany They've installed a lot of coasters. They're installing the new Ten Looper at Flamingoland, Trips Drills new coasters, Fly at Fantasialand, Saving at Far Up Summerland. They've installed, in terms of the recent open coasters, uh, they've installed Valkyria at Leesburg, Dynamite at Freisic Park Pallone, Taiga at Linamaki. They're installing Mission Ferrari at Ferrari World Abu Dhabi, uh, which is an interesting one, and things like that. So that's just a little bit of background history then of what's what's it replacing, what are the new attractions. There is also the Route 83, uh, Jesse's Route 83 Diner, and there's also Al's Garage, which is set to be the shop, the main shop retail outlet in the area. Uh, so Tornado Springs has been covered on this channel a lot. We've shouted out the Poulton's Park Engineering team. We've shouted out Lawrence, who's uh, one of the managing directors at Poulton's. Um, We've shouted out loads of other people at Poulton's, the social media team, we've been in, we were invited to the VIP media day that would have gone ahead mid-May. Uh, I've got a feeling that will be rescheduled around that time next season and rescheduled for that date in 2021. Uh, and of course I finished uni by that point, so um, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get down there to the VIP media day when they reschedule it so um, yeah hopefully fingers crossed we'll still get down there like we were planning to do this year and um, yeah 
Tornadoes Springs has been coming on this channel for quite a while now. We've got now if you go back and uh, there's actually a Tornado Springs playlist which I'll link in the credits of my video today. And we've we've gone through this Tornado Springs project right from the very start. The first video I filmed when the channel was very, very small, it was barely off the ground. Um Yeah, it was it was very that was the that was this around the time when the first video came out about this project and it was the first sort of it was looking at the first sort of poster the teaser poster for the area hashtag tstv that was the main promotional marketing standpoint and this was a very interesting project to follow Polton's part were very interested to see what people's thoughts were people's uh, rumors and predictions were and opinions on this and we we're all positive no one was negative about this we we're all very positive because Portland Park do fantastic investments and I think this is a really really sh good shining example of um, a fantastically well done themed area and uh, you see by the photos that were on your screen the concepts the teaser arts the the pictures recently in the last few days uh, and other on-site pictures according to the park you know just different things that we've accumulated over the history of this project it's like a and to be fair I'm probably gonna watch this back after I finish filming this and I'm gonna be like wow that's almost a year's worth of, of of looking at these pictures and looking at the construction and the process of this and it's very 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 good to see the process of this and it's a project that I've loved since the very very beginning I said immediately either an extra spinner or a mat launch or a normal max spinner I don't care it's gonna be a fantastic project now families watching this i really do recommend this park and i really do recommend this area when it reopens in 2021 or it relaunches in 2021 uh because tornado springs is a family fun day out as is polton's park it's a family fun day out it's one of the biggest family fun day outs or arguably the best family fun day out in the country um they have some fantastic attractions the lost kingdom area critter creek the cobra edge you know, loads of great rides and attractions and experiences. Magma is a fantastic drop tower. Um, and there's some fantastic coasters. And it's the good thing about this park is it ranges from coasters for the thrill seekers to family coasters and children's rides for the younger guests. So it ranges for every single person of every single age group. You know, and it's, it's such a fantastic, brilliant, amazing park to visit. From what I hear... You know, I've not had the chance yet of visiting Polton's Park, but this VIP media launch for Tornado Springs in 2021, when it gets rescheduled, if and when it gets rescheduled, that is going to be my first visit. That'll be my first visit to Polton's Park. Um, and to experience that park for the first time would be fantastic. But to experience the new area in particular would be a dream come true, because I've covered this area for months and months and months, and we finally got an opening now when well you know they've rescheduled it for easter 2021 if you didn't see my last video so easter 2021 so around about the same time as it would have been this year around about april may ish now i don't know about you but i think when it gets round to next spring 2021 there is going to be tons and tons of people tons of people flocking down to Polton's Park to experience this new area and me included to be honest I can't wait to experience this new area I think the rise and attractions are going to be fantastic I think it's going to be a great area to experience and like I said to you guys families if you're watching this it's a brilliant family fun day out so thank you very much guys for watching this theme park newsroom update looking back at the history of this Tornado Springs project and sharing some of the most recent pictures make sure you like comment subscribe and for now guys my name is Coach Shell Kilton the Coast Life and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.